Good evening. This wee video is just a series of clips of movie stars that I would have watched and who are still alive. Hope you enjoy this. Yes, Clint Eastwood, uh, now 91. I mean, I must have seen all of the Clint Eastwood uh, for a few dollar more type movies, spaghetti westerns. I must have seen them several times over. Uh, he just played a different kind of cowboy and uh, he always came up trumps, always beat the bad guys uh, with such finesse uh, and uh, they were just amazing movies. Uh, and then the Dirty Harry trilogy or whatever it was came out and they were a bit uh, close to the knuckle um, but I watched most of them as well uh, outstanding actor um, to find your childhood sort of, or your teenage years and here's Richard Chamberlain he's 87 and you'll remember him like me from Dr. Kildare but I watched his uh, Shogun series and it was mesmerising. And here's Catherine Ross, sort of every schoolboy's crush. Uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sun Ga Dance Kid and The Graduate. A uh, good looking girl. And what about Sophie Lorraine? Still going strong at 86. Um, beautiful woman. Um, in so many of the films I would have watched uh, back then in the day and she's 81 now another guy started late in life to uh, cinema um, he was sort of stand up comic uh, the Paul Hogan show I would have watched it and then uh, The Crocodile Dundee I think it's is it a trilogy? not too sure um Good stuff. I'm still going strong. And here's Alan Alder. Now 85. And you used to watch Mush. And he was in it. And my goodness, boys. Oh, this it, this brings back memories. It really does. And the theme music. And what about this guy? Lee Majors. He's 82. Many's a night sat in and watched the uh, six million dollar man. And here's Goldie Hawn. Looking good at 75. And do you remember Linda Evans in Dynasty? Glamorous lady. Great looking girl. Uh, 79. Still, still looking good. And here's Robert Duvall, 90. And never forget Robert Duvall in uh, Apocalypse Now and the writing to the, that uh, famous classical theme. Uh, can't remember what it is. The helicopters all approaching uh, in sort of... Uh, a pattern in the sky and this music is, is blurring out and you know he gets onto the beach or wherever they are landed and he says I love the smell of diesel in the morning or something some, something to that effect a strange movie Apocalypse Now and here's Linda Carter now 70 <laughs> what's she do Wonder Woman or something or other oh boy she had some fan basis amongst the, uh, the teenage boys. My favourite actors, Mel Gibson, now 65. I uh, loved him in The, the Patriot and, and uh, was Braveheart and whatnot, you know. Paxaw Ridge. Brilliant stuff. And everybody said his... Uh, I think he directed Passion of Christ. 
everybody said it was it would bomb and became one of the top uh, grossing dollar movies ever. Um, he took such a gamble on that. I loved him in Mad Max. Crazy, crazy movies. There's a guy that was in many, many of the westerns I would have watched. It's Robert Fuller. And he's uh, still around, 88 years old. And this is Sam Elliott, now 77. And he's been... I mean, he's, he's been in so many different westerns. Remember this guy, Philip Michael Thomas. Uh, born 1949, so that makes him, what, 73? And he was one of the, the stars of Miami Vice. He used to enjoy it. Good crack. And he used to love Ali McGraw. Born 1939, so that makes her, what, 80 something or other. I'm trying to calculate it in my head, 16, 22, that's 82, 83, I'm looking well for her age. Um, what was she in? She was love story, was it? Um, can't remember. But uh, she was a, an old flame of uh, Steve McQueen, or I think he might have even married her. Beautiful looking girl. This is Gina Davis, uh, born 1956, that makes her 66, and the movie I remember her most from was The Long Good Night Kiss, which was a thriller, and she played a blinder in it, really, a great, great movie. Um, kept you on the edge of your seat the whole time. And what about this guy, Gene Hackman? Yeah. Uh, he was going to be good in anything that he was in. Um, 1930, so that makes him 92. If you watched anything Tom Selleck was in, um, born 1945, so that makes him, what, 87. Um, Magnum, of course, and P.I. series, and Selleck, and... Quigley Down Under is a, is a movie you, you need to see. Uh, it's a tough old movie. Um, brilliant, brilliant uh, films. And Gene Hackman usually played the body. And uh, I well remember him playing in uh, The Quick and the Dead. Boy, he was a nasty piece of work. And what about this guy? Defined so many of our teenage years again, Mr. T from the A team, and he's 70, born 1952. And he's looking good. He's probably looking better now. Yeah, he's looking, looking pretty good for 69. What, what did he used to always say to the other, other guy? Who, who was on the A-team. What are you looking at, fool? Or something, something like that. My goodness. These things stick in your memory. And here's Sidney Poitier. Born 1927. What does that make him? 70, 92, 95? Boy, so always, always enjoyed watching anything he was in. And you would hardly recognise this guy. This is Christopher Lloyd, uh, 1938. He was born. That uh, makes him, what, uh, 84? Back to the Future fame, of course. And he's been in some number of movies over the years. About this guy, still alive today, born 1946. It's Bolo Young. And I remember him from uh, the Bruce Lee movies, um, where he usually played, I think he always played a, a body. So he's, uh, what, <laughs> brain slow, you know. So that's, that's, what, 76? And uh, another character <laughs> from Marsh, uh, 
played a, a really over the top nutcase type character. So it's uh, Jim, Jimmy Farr, uh, 1934. And that makes him 70 plus 92. Uh, what? 80, 88? Looking well. I've got Michael J. Fox, 1961. So he, that makes him about 60, 61, maybe 62. And a much loved uh, movie star. Loved him in uh, Back to the Future. Um, really enjoyed, enjoyed it. Great crack. About this guy here, Arnie, I'll be back. Uh, Schwarzenegger, uh, born 1947. I must have watched all of his movies. Um, and of course, there's you know the, all these guys and ladies that I'm talking, referring to. Uh, as far as I know, all of them are still alive. And what about this guy here to finish with? William Shatner, born 1931, aged 91, and still going strong. <laughs> I think he was up on a spaceship there quite recently. Uh, lived a, an incredible life. Uh, and Shatner on the original Star Trek team winner, you know, they made the... the Star Trek for me. Once they stepped down, uh, start, I never watched Star Trek to an extent ever again. Um, so William Shatner, I've, I've read his um, autobiography and I was just uh, quite amazed how honest it was and um, how funny. So he would uh, be a firm favourite of mine.